Hi everyone, my name is Remy Jordan. I'm with TuneTrack. TuneTrack is a digital music platform for emerging artists and independent artists to get the music heard. Oh, it doesn't work with that. Um, you can try using the arrow keys to advance your slide. Okay, I like it this way. So, um, the competitive landscape is pretty crowded with over 4 million bands just in the United States. So, it's hard for artists to stand up from the crowd, book successful shows, or make a living of a craft. So, let me ask you a question. Who want to win the lottery and start a band today? <laughs> uh, I got a solution for you. So, I will assume that some of you, and actually, I know Bill is a musician. Um, so we created a solution to put all the tools artists need to be successful in one place. So now I'm going to switch and show you exactly the product. So the product, uh, and again, did they see the full screen, right? Yes. Uh, how we don't see it. Well, remember how I told you it's often very difficult to make a demo work? I'm sharing my screen. So. Uh -huh. Are you in a different program now? I'm on a different screen, but... So you're not in the presentation anymore. So you have to stop sharing, then start sharing, go to the okay. other window. Okay. Stop sharing. Go to the other window. Now we've got to share again. Go to the other window. Okay, sure. Here we go. Sorry, guys. So this is the um, the applications, the platform, Tune Tracks. So we can discover artists. This is a discovery page. Uh, so I'm going to pick one artist. Let's say we're going to take Skizzy Politans, a uh, Reno band. So this is where we're going to start your profile. Um, an artist profile is going to create a uh, different tab. Uh, that's what we mean by all in one spot, having all the information. So you can have your audio, your music, your video, your pictures, your upcoming show listing, uh, past and upcoming shows. And uh, so if you click something really cool too to increase traffic on your page, if you click on that little magic button on the right side here, you can share automatically to all the social media networks. So that's pretty powerful and it helps bands to save a lot of time uh, increasing the traffic to their page. Uh, we have also what we call an artist directory, which is more likely for town buyers and venue to find out about bands. They can do search by genre or by city. Uh, we have also charts, audio charts and video charts. We have upcoming show listing. We have releases of music, uh, album or single. And recently we launched about two weeks ago, Opportunity. So artists can sign up to uh, submit to Opportunity, whether it's a festival or a showcase or anything like this. So Bill would be able to go, for example, to process in the face with his band if he submitted his application. And there's a small fee that goes to reproduction of the event. So now I'm going to switch back. I'm going to go to my presentation again. Thank you for your patience. I'm going to go to. All right. So we just saw uh, how to create very effectively an artist profile, what we call also an electronic press kit. We saw the automation of social media posting, which is a great feature. We saw that artists could be featured on the site in the discovery page. We saw artist directory, what we call also a browse page. We saw artist video chart, upcoming show that can be promoted. The music release, whether it's single album, and access to opportunity. So now, what's our business model? Our business model, we've been in business since 2015. We have a proven concept. We generate $75,000 in revenue so far in 2019. 
We're already profitable. We're a small team. We have 2,500 artists and 100,000 fans. Um, so our direct competitors are Sonic Bits and River Nations. That's really the two competitions that we have in our, in our, uh, in our landscape here, competitions landscape. Uh, we beat them all up on the feature. We have more feature at a lower subscription monthly cost. And then below you see uh, the number of subscribers that each of the competitors have, which give us a lot of margin for growth. So what's a marketing strategy? Marketing strategy is basically a competitive conversion strategy, which is directly going after your nation selling bids. Okay, so we're going to convert those artists to our platform through targeting advertising, through uh, adding, you know, uh, providing additional opportunity for those artists, such as music festivals and showcases. We're going to produce music festival like we do now, and we're going to use webcasts as a technology to uh, for music industry webcasts for, uh, to educate people about their options as far as uh, signing up to TuneTribe. This is a five-year subscriptions conversion. As you can see, the first year we got a little bit less than 2,000 subscriber, 2,000 subscriber, paying subscriber, as you, as you mentioned. We have three tier uh, subscriptions, a premium, a pro, and a light. You can see on year five, but we're up to 10,000 subscriber. Uh, the the five-year subscription conversion uh, is, uh, oh, we just did this one. The five years revenue projections. Uh, so, like I say, the first year we're going to be around the three, three hundred, three hundred fifty thousand dollars, and year five, two point five million dollars. And there's free, uh, free revenue uh, stream. One obviously the subscriptions that we just saw. One is professional services, and the other one is artist festival submission. But so the, the opportunity. As far as our team, myself and the founder, I have 15 years of experience um, with them working with emerging artists as a time buyer as well, as a festival producer. And Andres Schulz, who is the CIO, who has 25 years of experience in 18 web development. So our financial requirements uh, are in three tier as well. We would like to, uh, now that we prove the concept of, of TuneTrack, we'll have to go to phase two, uh, developing a, a platform, mainly integrating Salesforce into this new platform, which is $60,000, through advertising, heavily on advertising, relying on Facebook and Google Ad, like we do now for signups, and industry website and publication, and then for operation staffing, as well as cash flow for the first year for a total investment of $270,000. And my last slide is, again, to prove that we uh, demonstrate how we focus and dedicate to the emerging artists. This is uh, one example of a show I did uh, last March, during Solva Software, where we booked uh, 40 bands in four, four days. So I uh, show our dedication to uh, helping emerging artists to be successful in the musical career. And with that, this is it.